Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's work appropriate lookbook, I'll be focusing on neutral outfits. So you'll see the base of every single outfit is completely neutral, starting with Monday's grey dress. And I'm really excited to show you what it looks like styled because I've been raving about it for quite a few videos. I purchased it um, during the holidays from Anthropology, but they actually still have it as well as a new version and it is a brushed fleece dress which I will link down below. It's one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe right now. I really love how it's just a little bit speckled, but from far away it just looks like a very pale gray. And it's just got the softest feel to it. It's fully lined and there's something a little bit subtly swingy about the way that it moves when you walk. And I've just been really enjoying that as well as the many ways to style it. So I styled it super simply for this Monday just with some black tights and some patent heels. But in Toronto I wore it with some knee high boots and it worked equally just as well. And could also be paired with some nice brights. But I like the way the neutral background really makes my Tahitian um, pearl dewdrop chain really pop. If you recall, a few videos ago I focused entirely on trends for the winter season to sort of pull you through the rest of this wintry time until we get to those spring um, funner, more colorful outfits. And one of my ideas was winter whites. Now this is a way of pairing some of your winter whites with some darker neutrals as well. Um, so I'm wearing a sweater that I received for Christmas, which is from Bloomingdale's. I'll try and link some similar options down below as I will with everything else. And and these pants are from Vince. They are a bit of an investment, but they're the only light trousers that I've ever found that I really like, that I just really enjoy the fit. It's a really soft, comfortable wool that feels like sweatpants. And there's a grayish color to them that is really hard to capture on camera, but it's essentially got both warm and cool tones in it. It's not a flat sort of beige, and it makes it really easy to pair with different colors, I think. So I really enjoy that about them. And then I paired them with my Prada pumps and the same um, Chanel flat bag that I wore on Monday. On Wednesday, my outfit is still neutral, but it features one of my very favorite trends of the moment that I think is going to carry very strongly through into spring. Um, so I can definitely imagine this dress paired with a really pretty kind of mustardy cardigan or cream and I'm absolutely loving tartan everything and I think a really nice suit dress is an easy way to wear that as part of your work wardrobe I think it's also great in a skirt um, if you can find one that you like and I purchased this dress quite a few months ago and I've gotten a ton of wear out of it already it is short sleeved um, but for winter I really like to layer up so it doesn't necessarily mean to me that everything I wear has to be super Super heavy rather that I'll wear some more layers so I'm wearing my 100% cashmere cardigan from Nouvelle Apparel my same tights as usual which I will link down below my Prada pumps and the same Chanel flap vintage handbag and to dress up this outfit a little bit because I wanted it to be a little bit more formal and classic I paired it with my new hand knotted strand of Tahitian pearls so on my site and in my Tahiti vlogs you could see my Tahitian pearls paired with crisp summery outfits but it's kind of neat to see it paired with neutrals here like my black cardigan and my also neutral dress because I think it really makes the different tones of the pearls pop from the peacock green and blue to bronze and eggplant and everything in between it all just sort of gets highlighted by those really simple basics that I'm just relying on right now to get me through the rest of the season I really don't care to do anything too fancy for work I'm not going to get fully excited I think about anything fashion wise until we start to hit those funner spring colors but it's just about kind of re invigorating those existing basics. Thursday really exemplifies that as well because I'm wearing one of my favorite very relied upon colors which is cream but with a little bit of a twist so I call this a double bow outfit. I'm wearing a sweater which has got side bows on it and then I've got my um, Ferragamo pumps which have some really simple classic bows as well. It really pulls through all of those burgundy tones that I was loving in late 2018 and I've been loving funnel neck 
necks and turtlenecks and a really long chain like this one that I have available on Nouvelle Pearl with my Victory pendant is a nice way to still be able to wear a necklace even with a really high neckline like that and I just think a little soft burgundy or a nice um, jewel tone really helps to reinvigorate your existing basics so I went a little matchy matchy here with my pumps and favorite YSL Lulu bag which is still very much a favorite of mine I definitely pull it out at least once every week and then for casual Friday without fail I've got my dark denim coming out and again I tried to sort of play on neutrals by pairing it with just a family of navy and navy like colors so my bag is an interesting color it's called iris by Louis Vuitton and it both adds a pop of color but also is still quite neutral as well in that it blends in with the indigo of my jeans my sweater is a favorite of mine it's cashmere from Bloomingdale's and it's a lighter weight so a really nice layering piece and I paired it with my short dew drop pearls so it's a shorter version of the necklace you saw earlier in the week on Monday with six pearls instead of eight and it's nice and short so it looks really great with a v-neck or a round neck sweater my pearl studs and then of course another little bow accent I did warn you that I was loving bows and I really like the taupey gold color of this one I think it looks really nice with anything oatmeal like this particular cable knit sweater and then I just paired the whole outfit with some simple pumps with a little bit of a color blocking toe. So if you're looking to sort of elongate your silhouette on casual Friday, something that I'm really loving right now, and I'll um, include some affordable options down below, is a navy pump because I think it really pulls the color of your jeans down to your toes and makes everything look just very classic and chic and is remarkably wearable because then you can pair it with any colors and it creates a nice foundation just like all of the other neutrals in this video do. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see my next installment on style, make sure you give it a like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.